What's good YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're in one of the illest neighborhoods in all of the city of Chicago, Wicker Park. What makes it so great? So many unique restaurants, historic architecture, things to do, a cool nightlife for you ladies and gents out there, and even the namesake park. I love this neighborhood so much that I decided to put a guide together for you guys and keep it locked to the end of the video because I'll have an example day for when you visit Wicker Park. So whether you live in Chicago, are just visiting, or thinking of moving here, keep watching. Park is one of the oldest neighborhoods in the entire city of Chicago. It got its start when brothers Charles and Joel Wicker purchased some land along Milwaukee Avenue and started development. Some of the earliest residents were wealthy Northern European immigrants and residents of Chicago displaced by the Great Fire of 1871. Wicker Park is located between Ashland and Western, bounded on the north by Bloomingdale and on the south by Division Street. Alright, so how do you get here? From the loop, you'll want to take the blue line and get off at either Division or Damon. I prefer getting off at the Damon stop because it puts you right in the heart of the neighborhood. You can also take the 56 bus from the loop which will take you up Milwaukee and you can get off wherever you see a cool and interesting spot that you want to hang out at. And of course there's a million other ways to get out here but I recommend public transportation as your first option. Wicker Park is one of my favorite neighborhoods in the city because it's got such a great vibe. It's almost indescribable. For you New Yorkers out there, it's kind of got like a Brooklyn feel to it. LA residents, sorry, I don't know enough about LA to give you a comparison. But you're gonna find a lot of street art out here, like the one behind me, that's the Bear Champ. Artists love living here. And that brings me to one of my favorite points about Wicker Park is that you're gonna see people from all walks of life. So if you're thinking about moving to Chicago, it doesn't matter if you have a family, if you're an artist, a college student, whatever. You could be an older senior citizen and you're gonna find a home for yourself here at Wicker Park. As you can tell, it is a super cold day, but that's not gonna stop me from putting together a dope guide for you to Wicker Park. As far as restaurants, food, and coffee go, I got a lot of recommendations for you. There, there's gonna be way too many to list in this video, so I'm gonna share with you the ones that are my favorites. Starting off with Bonchi, it's a Roman pizza place. I first actually had it in Rome, and that's the only other spot in this planet where you're gonna find Bonchi. There's also Kazuki, if you love ramen, I recommend going there. For tacos, you've got a few options. Antique Taco and Big Star Taco are two of the ones that come to mind. For my coffee and tea lovers, I got a few recommendations for you. So you're not gonna wanna stop at the Starbucks. Instead, you either go to Fairgrounds, which is a curator of all these amazing coffees and teas. There's also Wormhole Coffee that's a little bit more hipster type of vibe. And finally, right under the Blue Line tracks, you've got Colombe, which is also a great coffee place. So you got plenty of options when it comes to food and coffee here. And we're gonna take a walk and check out some more of what Wicker Park has to offer. Alright, we stopped off the super busy and loud street to a nice quiet residential section of Wicker Park to talk about the shopping that you can do, mainly along the Milwaukee Avenue Historic District here, which is one of the oldest shopping districts in the entire city of Chicago. You have some of my favorites like Champion and Levi's, and we've got streetwear stores like St. Alfred's and a few others. All 
All right, besides food and shopping, there are so many things to do out Wicker Park, starting with the Bloomingdale Trail, also known as the 606, which is a converted railway, now a nice walking and bike path full of Illinois native plants, basically Chicago's answer to the High Line in New York City. What else is there to do? Well, you've got Emporium, which is a great barcade, actually a few of the spots across the city, but there is one in Wicker Park. And I know you were waiting to hear about the nightlife here. Well, there's so much, no shortage of things to do at night. Get your drink on and have some fun like that. Take some dates, all that good stuff. I'm just gonna name a few of my favorites. And of course, if I missed any that are really, really nice, go ahead and leave them in the comments. But I've been to Tapster, which is a place where you basically get a little card and you scan at the tap and get whatever you want, like wine, beer, spirits. So you've got the Violet Hour, which is a great date night speakeasy. Nick's Beer Garden, Whiskey Business, and so many more. Only thing you gotta be careful of is not to get too lit out here in Wicker Park because then you may wake up passed out on the 606 trail. Alright guys, I promised you an example day in Wicker Park, but before we get into all that, if you could do me this favor and smash that like button down below, and if you are new here, subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be part of the Gusto Gang. So one day in Wicker Park, I would start, get coffee, tea, and breakfast at Fairgrounds, then I would walk over to the 606, enjoy the nature, overlooking the views of the beautiful Chicago streets. Then go to lunch at Bonchi, get yourself some Roman pizza. I recommend the potato one, by the way. After that, you're gonna wanna go to Walgreens. Trust me on this one, the one at Milwaukee, Damon, and North Avenue. Go inside, get yourself some candy, a drink, whatever you need. Finally, I would end your day in Wicker Park by going to the Up Room at Roby, which is an office building from the 1930s or 40s, but it's a beautiful Art Deco building. And they have a nice rooftop bar for you to get your drink on. So that's gonna wrap it up for my Wicker Park guide. Leave a comment below on which neighborhood in Chicago you'd like me to cover next. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Peace. As far as parks go, it's not the biggest, but it's kinda nice. You got beautiful trees around, a baseball field, and even a dog park. Woof woof, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> With the 606, also known as the Bloomingdale Trail, which is a converted railway. It's basically Chicago's answer to New York's High Line. Is it High Line in New York? So I appreciate you guys watching. <laughs> All right, we stopped off the busy street to a nice quiet residential section of Wicker Park to talk about the train coming by. <laughs>